During this week that is coming to an end, most traders have had a chance to gain profit taking into account various economic events. For example, the British pound buyers considered the positive mood of the Bank of England that did not intend to cut the key rate. You can get more information on future economic events from our video review on InstaForex TV channel. Next week, it's the Asia-Pacific region that will shape the market mood. At the moment, there is a lot of news on the outbreak of coronavirus that originated in China. However, on Monday, China will reveal its economic data. Business information provider market that cooperates with China's information agency Taishin will publish the manufacturing PMI data. According to the forecast in January, the indicator remained unchanged. However, there are worries that demand on the Chinese goods can be reduced because of the coronavirus epidemic. Thus, traders will hardly react positively to the news. They are expected to keep their interest in the safe haven assets, so that's why the Japanese yen is likely to go on rising. The Australian dollar is strongly influenced by news on China's industrial production. Almost all Australia's mining goods are exported to the China's factories. In January, the Australian dollar lost almost 4% amid fears about a slowdown in China's GDP growth. Besides, traders were selling off the Australian dollar ahead of the key interest rate cut by the Reserve Bank of Australia. Market participants should also take into account damage caused by wildfires that occurred in Australia in the beginning of the year. On Tuesday, the Reserve Bank of Australia will announce its decision of the benchmark interest rate. If the forecast comes true and the regulator cuts the key rate to 0.50%, the market participants will sell off the Australian dollar. On Wednesday, markets will switch to the news from Europe and the United States. Traders will be focused on the Final Services PMI data. The UK will unveil its final report that is expected to prove the preliminary figures. According to the initial data, the UK Services PMI advanced to the highest level since September 2018. On Wednesday, the Institute for Supply Management will publish the non-manufacturing PMI data. Analysts expect positive changes that can boost activity of the US dollar buyers. It's notable that traders are already waiting for the reports on the US labor market that are due for release on Friday. We will focus on the issue on Wednesday during our next video review. Apart from the above set events, it would be a good idea to take notice of other important reports. On Monday, the manufacturing PMI data is slated for release in the world's largest economies. On Tuesday, no important economic events will be disclosed. However, on Wednesday, New Zealand will report on its labor market and the United States and Canada are expected to publish their trade balance data. You were watching Forex Trader Calendar on InstaForex TV channel with me Kate Stichina. We wish you profitable deals.